like I have to turn down my rap music because I'm like, this is the Lord's restaurant. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Nandi and I am a fourth semester pediatric nurse practitioner student and I'm on the primary care track. So today it is currently Monday, September 12th and it is 8.56 a.m. So I actually, just like last semester, I was placed at two different clinical sites this semester, just to give you guys a little catch up moment because I feel like it's been a minute since I vlogged. But I was placed at two different clinical sites. One of them is at a genetics clinic and then the other one is just a regular primary care pediatric clinic. So on Mondays, I usually go to my genetics placement but she happens to see my preceptor. She happens to see patients virtually on Mondays. So I am about to log in so I can go ahead and see what's going on with these patients today. But we have a pretty busy week this week. So I'm seeing virtual patients, clinical today on Monday. Tomorrow I have clinical on Tuesday. Wednesday we have class all day. Thursday, I'm going to clinical. Friday, I'm going to clinical. And then Saturday, I'm going to work. So busy, busy week. As you guys know, I think I mentioned it probably a billion times, but <laughs> we have to get 300 clinical hours this semester. So, you know, in my last vlog, when I said I was going to clinical every day, maybe we going to clinical every day or at least every day except class day. So... That's what's going on, guys. Just wanted to give you an update. Let's go ahead and log in and see what's going on with these patients today. Una pregunta. Su hijo tiene un doctor otorrino laringólogo, que es el doctor de los oídos, nariz y la garganta. Oh, sí, apenas, apenas, apenas tuvo ese doctor para hacer un chequeo de la garganta para para saber si está todo bien, si no tiene problemas. Claro. Ah, uh, yes, he recently had an appointment with the ENT doctor. They checked his throat to make sure he had no type of problem. What doctor did you see? Was it at Children's? ¿Y qué doctor fue a visitar? ¿Fue en Children's? Oh, sí. Um, no estoy yes. seguro. Es... Es... Es una oficina grande pegado del children. I'm not sure, but it's a big office right next to children. Okay, guys, so it is currently 5.16. We actually got done with, like, our last patient around 4 something. Um, and then I got distracted. I was doing other work, trying to like work on my resume a little bit because your girl graduates in December. It's time to go. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> I got distracted. So tomorrow we have clinical and I actually was going to try to go to Orange Theory in the morning, but my preceptor just told me that she moved some of her Wednesday appointments to Tuesday. So now I have to be at clinical tomorrow earlier than expected. Usually on Tuesdays, I'll go in at one o'clock, but since she did that with her patients, I have to be there at 9 a.m. So I have to wake up earlier. And that also means no orange theory, so I'm sad about that. But anyway, um, I have to wear business casual to clinical for this site, for the genetic site, which I hate. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm about to iron my clothes for tomorrow and honestly lay down and probably watch Love Island UK because I'm I feel like I'm close to the finale, but comment down below if you're watching Love Island, any of the Love Islands, but specifically Love Island UK. I've been watching it on Hulu. I know the season ended already, but you know, I'd be late to the shows. We already went over this, so 
but that's what I'm about to do and yeah I will check in with you guys in a little bit and then if not then I'll check in with you tomorrow morning guys it is the next day it is tuesday september 13th i have to look at my phone because i don't even know what day it is but anyway i just made it to my clinical site i'm in the parking deck but i'm about to head up our first patient is at nine it's actually nine right now but honestly my preceptor is never on time like you know She's probably going to be like 30 minutes late. So I'm right on time. So we're at the genetics clinic today. I think I'm done seeing patients today around 4 o'clock. I think our last patient is at 3. So hopefully I'm out by 4. But let's go ahead and head upstairs. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Good morning guys. It's the next day. My camera died when I was doing homework in my bed yesterday. So, but it's okay. We're back. <laughs> it is Wednesday, September 14th and it is 8.48 a.m. So, as the OGs know, it's Wednesday. So, Wednesdays is class days for my specialty. Um... I don't know this morning I just feel tired I can't wait for January 2023 because I feel like my sleep is gonna actually kick in then because my sleep has been horrible throughout this program horrible but yeah I'll just wait till January to sleep I guess I don't know but anywho I am about to go ahead and put my class PowerPoints for the day on my iPad. And yeah, class starts in about 10 minutes. So I'll let you guys listen in to a bit of lecture. And we have two classes today. Um, this one's at 9 and then my next class is at 1. And then that's from 1 to 3. And then later on at 4 o'clock. See, look class time anyway and then at four o'clock um, we're going to get our lashes done so 
that's pretty much our day. Let's go ahead and transfer these things to my iPad and then we'll go to class. <music> communication, uh, cognitive development, and adaptive skills. We're going to review some of the major milestones and discuss milestones. We're going to discuss developmental vulnerabilities for children with genetic differences using our XY clinic, um, XY chromosome variations clinic as a model, and that's a clinic where we focus on uh, sex chromosome aneuploidies. And then um, We'll describe some of the modifications in clinical in the clinical care guidelines for children with um, developmental differences, as using the XY clinic as our example, um, based on associated developmental vulnerabilities, um, with a brief discussion of therapies and interventions that may be indicated based upon the child's developmental issues. So, um, hopefully, you'll be able to. Identify typical developmental trajectories from infancy through uh, adolescence as the result of um, this um, lecture and recognize potential developmental vulnerabilities in children with different conditions. It doesn't have to be um, a genetic condition um, and understand differences in clinical care guidelines for children at risk of, a, uh, of atypical development. When assessing milestones. We don't rely on any one single milestone in an individual child, but rather we kind of look at an overall pattern and profile of the processes of development. Um, we look at different streams of development, their interactions and their relationships. So there are five streams of development in young children that we tend to, that we, we talk about. Social emotional stream, the gross motor and fine motor um, streams, expressive and receptive language, nonverbal uh, communication or problem solving skills. In babies, we, uh, the nonverbal domain is really, really focuses on visual motor abilities. In older children, it's problem solving or cognitive kind of function. And then self-help or adaptive skills. So in this talk, we're gonna touch upon milestones in each of these streams of development as they occur during the progressive stages of childhood. And those stages are infancy to toddlerhood, birth to two, the preschool years, three to five, elementary or, or latency age um, um, years, which is the six to 11, and then adolescence 12 uh, on up to 18 and above. All right, so it is currently 12.47. My first class ended at 1150, so I just like ate lunch and I've kind of been relaxing ever since. Um, at one o'clock, I have my next class, so we got 10 minutes. But I don't know if anyone cares to like know, because I also realize I don't always say like what specific classes I'm taking. So I can show you guys my little um, schedule here for the week. So, on some Tuesdays, not every Tuesday, we have a leadership class, but they're online and the topics are like very random to me. It's supposed to be like, I think, helping with business, leadership, and things like that. On Wednesdays, I have a PEDS primary care nurse practitioner class. And that's supposed to be like our seminar course. We talk about various topics 
we're supposed to be also like reviewing topics for our boards and we do like some rapid review practice questions for our boards and then at one o'clock which will be happening in like 10 minutes we have a pharmacology and pediatrics course just going over medications that we use specifically in the pediatric population and then lastly on my schedule i put it on here but it's not actually a class that happens on zoom per se it's kind of like a hybrid class and it's called peds primary care clinical practicum three but that class is pretty much encompassing us going to clinical and then we have assignments in that class so like for example we'll do our soap notes and submit those assignments for that class and then also just like making sure we also do any type of like virtual or in-person simulations all of that happens in that clinical practicum class and then of course to graduate we need our 300 clinical hours so that pretty much sums up the classes that i'm taking this semester they quote unquote said that this is supposed to be like i don't want to say an easy semester a lighter semester i don't know but it's not um I think for other specialties, it may be, but for pediatrics, they're literally making us work. If you hear my dog, I'm sorry. He's so loud. But anyway, they are making us work to the very end, to the finish line. I'm sorry, but we have, like personally, I have like three presentations this semester. I have to do 10 soap notes total. And then I have like my 300 clinical hours plus like papers and other things. I don't know, but it's a lot. Like I'm definitely overwhelmed. I'm not enjoying, <laughs> I'm not enjoying this um, last semester. That's just me being honest and real with you guys. It's not light. So, but you know, we're gonna take it week by week guys. But anyway, um, let me see what time is it? Yeah. So now it's officially 12.50, but I'll check in with you guys when it is time to log into class and I'll let you hear a little bit of what we talk about in Pete's Farm. Infection, um, and it can, it's like a pus filled abscess pretty much and um, is a troubling sign. Um, tri trichophyton tonsurans is the most common uh, pathogen in the U.S. accounting for 95% of the cases. And um, treatment of tinea capitis always requires systemic therapy. And there are a few options. Um, Griseofulvin at 20 mg per kg per day PO or of the micro-size PrEP or 15 milligrams per kilograms per day of the ultra micro size PrEP for eight weeks or the turbinified four to six milligrams per kilogram per dose for six weeks. Um, fluconazole is an option um, for kids under two just because of the side effects involved with the other medications. And um, selenium sulfide shampoo just helps to reduce the shedding of spores and hopefully the spread of the infection while it's being treated. Real dope dealers for real. <laughs> Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push young nigga, young nigga, young nigga, move that dope. Young nigga move that dope, ay, move that dope, ay, move that dope. Young nigga move that dope. Young nigga, young nigga move that dope. Young nigga move that dope, ay, move that dope, ay, move that dope. Why is so nasty? Young nigga move that dope. Young nigga move that dope, ay, move that dope, ay, move that dope. Young nigga move that dope. Young nigga, young nigga move that dope. Young nigga move that dope, ay, move that dope, ay, move that dope. Young nigga move that dope, dope. Yeah. 
Serving the raw, I say yeah. Beating that china like who's a kid tie. Whipping it, whipping that fishing for a kid. Drinking no syrup, I'm rolling them hair. Made myself a boss, I'm bossing the pro. Either way you put it, nigga, I'm good. Triple salute, nigga, straight out there. Make a soda, water splash, I'm scared. Fuck my right and my pride and my left. Lean it all way over to the side. I whip me your four way to a nine. The dirty, the money is homicide. In my recipe, you can tell me. That's coming on song and the buffalo. I know the really with the triggers that's on the banana clippers and packing with the biggest missiles. These niggas is knocking over vehicles. These niggas ain't waiting just to see niggas. These niggas ain't trying to hear please niggas. These niggas like chopping down trees, niggas. These niggas want to breathe and they squeeze niggas. These niggas hit the weed and they leave niggas. Gee, niggas. If you got two hoes, you need to let one go. Two Lambos, you need to let one go. All these drones while y'all smoke drunk, there's a high in the sky. I'm trying to let y'all know. Ain't no standards, I'ma set one though. Big ass bag, but no man stand though. All that boy, we need to let that go. All right, guys, so I went to go get my lashes done. As you guys see, she's cute, you know, she's cute. Um, after I did that, I came home, I took a shower, and as you guys saw, I made a smoothie. And then I just put on my little diffuser because I needed some calming energy in here, okay? But anyway, it is currently now. 5 40 p.m. I am about to do some pharmacology homework so just so you guys know we all no matter what specialty in your master's you'll take an advanced pharmacology course but then in my specialty we just take an extra farm class pretty much specifically for pediatrics so this is pretty much like my second time in farm I guess you can say for this program but anywho I have some homework for my peds farm class so I'm gonna do that and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna lay down <laughs> like I feel like I need a t-shirt that says like I'm gonna lay down because I feel like I say that so many times in my vlogs like but yeah I'm gonna lay down and relax and we have clinical tomorrow but um, it's a blessing because it's virtual tomorrow so I just have to like log on and meet my preceptor via zoom and you know listen to some patients so it's virtual tomorrow and then yeah I don't know if I'm doing anything else tomorrow we'll see but let's focus on today let me do my homework <laughs> and yeah I'll talk to you guys in a little bit Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me how to set a signal. It was about. 
about five minutes ago When I seen the hottest chick that a youngin' never seen before I say yo, for the girls I wanna meet her On second five, that ain't the way to go I gotta give a game proper Spit it so she get it, cause she is, I gotta stop her Oh, should I talk about a smile? Oh, what about a style? I'm out of time She's out the door, I gotta go for mine I think I'll say yo want to say that these little coffees here are so good i get them from target and i just poured it into my cute little cup here definitely try them if you haven't already good morning guys it is the next day it is thursday september 15th and it is currently 8 48 a.m so i have virtual clinical today as I mentioned yesterday, and that's gonna start at nine. So I have like 10 minutes to go ahead and get ready for that. But I just have to log in to Zoom and stuff like that. So after I'm done with clinical, um, I think I have a meeting later today. So I'll probably go to my meeting and then go to Orange Theory tonight. And that's all I'm doing today, guys. So and homework, but that's kind of like a given. I try to do a little bit of homework every single day so it doesn't pile up. And sometimes on Fridays, I honestly like to do nothing or the bare minimum. So I also try to like do more like towards the beginning of the week so that by the time it gets closer to the weekend, I'm doing a little bit less. So yeah, guys, let me go ahead and get ready for clinical and then as we see patients I just take notes in my pediatric book this was in my school supply haul so if you want to know where I got this from the link is in that video so go and check that out but yeah let's get ready for clinical whenever we talk about genetics or genetic testing I think it's important just to start with um, the basics of the cell. So our bodies are, are made up of billions of cells. That's what makes the inside and outside of our bodies. Um, and inside each of those cells, we have all of our genetic information. This is what gives our body's instructions for how it's supposed to grow and develop. Um, and we uh, know that that genetic information, when it sits inside the cell, is packaged into what we call chromosomes. Um, and so that's where the individual pieces of instructions lie in. Um, and there we go. when we lay all of those chromosomes out in a picture, um, which is called a karyotype, um, they are looking at the number and arrangement of those chromosomes to see if they um, are how we would expect them to be. So typically what we see is that there are 46 total chromosomes. They come in 23 pairs. One of each of those pairs you get from your mom, the other one you get from your dad. Um, 
And the first 22 pairs, we call the numbered chromosomes. Um, and then the last two, that last pair, we call the sex chromosomes. And typically with a female, we see two X chromosomes. And then with a male, we see one X chromosome, one Y chromosome. All right, guys, it is currently 1224. I really need to like set up a car mount, but anyway, I don't have another patient until two o'clock. So as you see, I changed, I'm outside. I'm just running errands, um, going to the bank, drop off some things at the post office. And then I have a return that I need to make at Target and then probably grab a salad or something for lunch. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just knocking things out the way because I have to work this Saturday too. So I really don't have that like amount of time this weekend to run errands. But that's one like piece of advice I would say for like people who always ask me like, you know, how do I do it all? Utilize all of your time, okay? If you have an hour, two hour break, like get things done. And that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these little errands and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. to Target as you guys saw and I made my return but of course it's Target so I was like let me look around a little bit but I was trying to see if I could find a cute little dress or something real quick because I have an event this Sunday that I'm going to and I wanted to try to find something to wear for it but there really wasn't anything real cute in there so I was like, let me leave because, you know, Target will suck you in and then you'll be there for an hour. And I'm just like, let me go get lunch and then do homework or something before my patient. So let me go get some food and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I don't know if it's just me, but I literally crack myself up every time because when I go to Chick-fil-A, I just feel like I'm in the house of the Lord. Like I have to turn down my rap music because I'm like, this is the Lord's restaurant. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, let me turn down my rap music. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going home now. So see you guys there. guys the lighting is not the best I'm in the parking deck but it is Friday September 16th and it's 8 55 a.m. so first of all thank goodness that is Friday can we start there please what a week what a week but anyway um, I'm at my genetics clinical again today so I am about to go upstairs, 
The first patient is supposed to show up at 9. My preceptor, she never on time, so she'll probably get here like 9.30, honestly. We'll see. But after clinical, I think I'm going to go and get my car washed. And then I'm supposed to be going to dinner later on tonight with one of my friends. So in between the car wash and dinner, I'll probably just be doing homework. That's pretty much all I have planned for the day. Ooh. And I'm proud of myself because I didn't go to Starbucks today. I just drank one of the, the coffees um, I showed you guys that I get from Target. I just put one of those in my little coffee cup to go. But oh my gosh. Okay, quick little rant real quick. Um, when my cousin came into town, <laughs> like she doesn't really like Starbucks. She likes Dunkin' Donuts. So we went to Dunkin' Donuts, right? And when I tell you, I did not realize how expensive Starbucks was until I went to Dunkin' Donuts because I went there, I literally went to Dunkin' and I feel like I got like three things for like seven or eight dollars. Literally at Starbucks, one drink is about ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is if, you, if you're extra like me and you add and stuff, you know, delete and stuff, add and stuff to your mixture, I don't know. But I was just like, oh my God, like I probably could buy all of Dunkin' Donuts for $5. Like, <sighs> no shade to Dunkin'. That's a beautiful thing. So, you know, if you're on a budget, start going to Dunkin'. But I'm me, so I'm probably still going to go to Starbucks. But I just had to tell you guys that story real quick. Because I'm just like, oh, wow, that really changed my perspective for like five minutes. I was like, mm, not Dunkin' out here being a um cheap alternative that's crazy all right <laughs> let me go ahead and head up here guys i'll talk to you in a little bit I literally got it. My no eyebrow <laughs> happened. Oh my god. Wow. We're about to go get some ramen. Because we're hungry. So I am back home. It is, oh, I don't even know what time it is. It's currently 9.20. So I actually got out of clinical around 12. So my genetics clinical site, when my preceptor goes in on Fridays, which is only two days out of the month, it's like a half day. So she does like from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So I got out really, really early. After that, I went to the car wash. I didn't show you guys that. I went to Piece of Cake because it's hashtag treat yourself Friday, okay? And I just made that up, but <laughs> I just wanted something to celebrate the end of the week. So I went and got a cupcake. They're really good. If you're in Atlanta, check them out, Piece of Cake. And then after that, what did I do? I think I did some work in the bed. And as you guys saw, I went to dinner, got some ramen with some friends. And then, yeah, came back home, showered, and now we're here. But 
I just want to go ahead and end off this vlog with some updates for you guys. Um, just in general, if you've been keeping up and watching like all of my vlogs, I definitely ditched that club that was stressing me out. <laughs> I definitely left it, you guys. And honestly, best decision I could have ever made. Um, definitely, like I said, take care of you. Don't overdo it. But honestly, you guys, that club, like, it wasn't doing anything for me. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like at this point, if you're not doing anything but stressing me out, oh, baby, you can go. Okay? You can go. My resume is good. Like, it's it just, it was just too stressful for me. So I made the decision to drop it. And then they just found a new treasurer, which is fine. And um, just in general, I just feel like at this point, I just kind of, how rude. At this point, I just feel like I kind of have senioritis like one of my classmates was like I, I have senioritis and I was like me too like I just feel like now if it's not going to clinical to obtain these 300 hours if it's not preparing me for my boards if it's not making me happy you can go like point blank period so your girl got senioritis I'm just so ready for this last semester to be over with guys like I'm not gonna lie but we're gonna push through I actually like knew somebody who used to like say say the saying and they would always be like head high to the finish and that's literally how I feel like I've definitely been in clinical and will be in clinical like more times this month of September than I would have been out of clinical. So I have really been pushing myself to get these hours and to just graduate in general. So, you know, your girl is tired, but we gonna make it, you know, head high to the finish, okay? But anyway, guys, I also want to say thank you so much for all of your support. I also really, really appreciate everybody who has been messaging me on Instagram. If you aren't already, please take this moment and follow me on Instagram, okay? So I can interact and talk with you guys. Um, the few people that I have spoke with, literally, I love it. Like, I really love it. And I, it probably sounds crazy to you guys, but you guys literally really, really, really make my day when you message me and tell me about like all the good things that you guys have going on. I know people have messaged me saying that they got into nurse practitioner school and just like sending really positive messages. Like you guys really motivate me as well. And I really just want to like sit down and tell you guys that like you really, really do. And things like that really matter to me so it's just like you guys keep me going and I just love talking with you so definitely don't hesitate to message me I try to reply back to everybody that I see and yeah follow me on Instagram so we can chit chat but <laughs> that's probably enough of the updates and the talking I really hope that you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and then also turn on your post notifications I always forget to say that so you guys can be aware of every single time that I upload a video. But I love you guys and I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.